Ciao ragazzi, sono Pia e lui è mio sono Pia. E... <laughs> Liquid, liquid courage. Ragazzi, sono Pia e lui è mio marito Davide. Oggi facciamo il pasto alla siciliana. Ingredients. Ingredients for pasto alla siciliana. First of all, I like to use short pasta. Today we're going to use some gilli, like the form, I like how they hold the sauce. You can use trofie, you can use casarecce, you can use penne. Tomato, different kind of tomato, something either like datterini tomato, cherry tomato, a little bit sweeter. San Marzano, Roma, or beef steak. I like to mix them. Garlic, olive oil, basil, a lot of basil, don't be shy with it. This is basically a blend of basil. Parmigiano Reggiano is a young Parmigiano Reggiano. As I said in the past, you want to uh, only cook with young cheese. Ricotta. And onions. All right, so we're going to start from the tomato. We are going to cook today for three people. So follow this curry. What you want to do with the tomato, you want to eliminate the seed and the part in the middle. There is too much uh, juice. We don't need uh, for this kind of dish. So I ended up using use two large tomato. Then we're gonna do some cherry. You don't want to use too many tomato because you don't want the pesto being too red, but you don't also want the pesto being too pale. Okay. Too close. Too close. So you can take off the skin. Suggestion for the garlic, because you will not be able to remove it, you can take off the sole of the garlic, because this is what it will make your breath smell most. What? I never knew that. You're so cool. Olive oil is what it will make this being a sauce, a cream. Some salt and pepper. So, olive oil tends to stay on the bottom. You want a creamy result. This is already perfect consistency, but I will add a little bit more of olive oil to make it a little bit more creamy. That's insane. <laughs> oh my God. What a unique flavor profile. Do not be worried about this look that he has. You see, it looks oily. It's because it's not only the olive oil, but the garlic has oily component. The almonds have oily, oily component. The sauce, uh, the tomato uh, juice, it's normal. Whenever we are gonna put the pasta in it, this is gonna uh, get to that. We use a little bit of salt in the pesto. Now what are we gonna do? Salt the water. Managa. <laughs> I sneak and use lentil pasta because I have a gluten intolerance and I'll die if I eat pasta every day. Like <laughs> this, no olive oil, no onions, no garlic, no. You take your pesto. How long do we cook this for? Low fire. This is not technically cooking. We are warming it up. Warming it up. Pesto is 